All right, welcome back everybody. I have Andrew here with EXP Realty. He reached out to us and he wanted to learn more about the home inspection process. So what I did is I actually reached out to him to offer you lunch first. And then yeah. you were like, you know what? Actually, I'm interested about the home inspection process. So I was like, all right, you want to do a ride along? And he was all about that. I was so, like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now uh, we're going to hit two houses. We're not going to stay the whole inspection process, but we're going to do two houses. We're going to go in and just show you some things to look for to help you yeah. know, better inform your clients on what they're buying. Awesome. You know? So I'm going to let him talk a little bit while I drive to the next house. And they're two pretty close. And I'd say it'd probably take about maybe two and a half hours, two hours or so. Good and time. Let's, let's start the day. Awesome. Let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Andrew, and as Chris said, I am with EXP Realty. I am fresh out of the gate. I'm gonna be honest on mine. Is that okay? okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do honest on mine. So look, I'm not here to front y'all, <laughs> but I told myself yeah, if I'm further out. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Gotcha. If I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn from the man right here. <laughs> Seriously, he he opened up my HAR orientation class. First of all, he fed us. <laughs> yeah. You know, look. Yeah, we did feed you, didn't we? <laughs> yes, yes. They had all the goodies. They had all the granola, the yogurt, the pastries. I was in heaven. And the coffee, of course, sealed the deal. But I'll tell you guys what, Chris is a phenomenal inspector and his level of service is, is quite frankly amazing. As you can see, he had no problem taking me on a tour. Yeah. He offered me lunch, first of all, and I said, you know what, how about I do you better? Let's do a tour together. And Chris, yep. Chris is awesome. So I'm excited for the day so I can learn and ultimately serve my clients better. And let's rock and roll, y'all. Let's do it. All right, so we're in Katy, walking up on this property, and I'm just gonna start talking about it as soon as we get closer. Not allowed to really show where we're at. Right. If you say where you're at, you can kind of get in trouble. So, right, right. Um, so the first thing that I like to look at is when we show up is you can kind of see the roof. It's a little bit aged. Got you. So you can actually tell a lot from a property just by walking up. So. Awesome. You can see that the roof's a little aged and the siding, the paint is a little off. So you might be have some maintenance, but mm. the two number one things that are almost on every single one of our home inspection reports mm. is roof and HVAC in Houston, just because sense, yeah. we, we don't take care of our roofs as much as we should. Right. And then also uh, nobody changes those air filters. Ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ever. Yeah. The two years later. Yeah. yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> So one of Andrew's questions right here, he asked about, you know, foundation cracks and stuff. So let's walk over here real quick. And you can see this expansion joint. And he was thinking that could be foundation related, but this is, this expansion joint is done on purpose. So what this does is allows your brick to expand and contract, and it actually prevents cracking. Not foundation movement, but cracking. Mm -hmm. And then I taught him the trick where I, I've said it in a few of my videos, but right over here, you can see if you look down your brick line, this could be one of the first signs where you can see the foundation is off. And you'll see a dip or a wavy motion across the, the mortar line of a brick. So you wanna look straight down you can see how that is straight. Whenever that brick person comes in, they're using a level to determine if they keep it a straight and flat line. So if that's off, that's one of your first signs that you might have foundation movement. That's property number one out in Katy. Did a quick walkthrough. We were only here like 20 minutes or so, mm -hmm. you know, and we picked up just a lot of general data from the property and I was teaching Andrew some of the things he found. So he's gonna to talk to you about, you know, some of the things that from an agent's point of view not an inspectors of what he's learned so far awesome well chris has schooled me totally guys so what i've learned for agents hey when you're doing your inspection let your client go in and look at the property and you yourself can pick up on several things just by doing a quick exterior sweep so you can look at the roof the year on the roof and kind of assess how old it is. You can also look at the HVAC. You can see if there's a gas line in case they want to install the gas range. Oven, you know, there's lots of things that you can pick up on just by doing a quick sweep, letting your client enjoy the house and move on from there. Um, Chris also pointed out, don't give your opinion. <laughs> just point it out for them just so they're aware of what to look for. 
Right, and as an agent, you, you're not licensed to give your opinion, but you're able to say this may show up in the home inspection report. So you can kind of set their expectation mm -hmm. of what's going to show up so they understand maybe a little bit even more before they get into it. It's not such a surprise when right. the inspector's like, hey, there's roof issues or there's plumbing issues. You're like, well, uh, we kind of, we knew this coming mm -hmm. in. We just didn't know how bad it was going to be, you know, something like that. Right. All right, cool. So let's uh, head to the next house and um, go check it out. Awesome. Okay, so property number two, we're way out in Katy, past the Bucky's on I-10, newer build area and uh, the home's pretty good uh, inspector josh said this one's actually pretty clean but you never know with new builds sometimes they're really good sometimes not so much <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want any surprises y'all <laughs> yeah so we do always recommend inspections on new builds so um we're gonna go in and check this one out awesome let's go <laughs> yeah so we got inspector josh here you know how's it going going around and uh, he says this one's pretty clean uh what what do you got so far uh, they're missing some kick out flashing on the roof. So they're missing some uh, flu collar and uh, storm. Uh, flu plumbing jacks need to be painted. Uh, shingles look good. A few little mortar cracks in the rock. So this one's, one's a pretty clean this one. This one's pretty clean. Yeah. Range hood is not installed correctly. Oh, not yet, but. Oh, okay. They come through and started doing drywall repairs for joint cracks and things like that. Okay, oh, so it's pretty clean. Though. So this one's a pretty nice yeah. new build. Yeah, you just just never know. It's always a gamble when it comes to uh, when it comes to new builds. All right, let's uh, just go around, take a look, and get back on the road. Okay, so, you know, it's funny, this is a new build. There wasn't very much mm -hmm. wrong with it, right? But yeah. I, some of the stuff that I was telling them was like general knowledge to me, but I didn't realize it was so important to you. Yeah. It was just talking about what inspectors aren't required to give you the report, you know, within, right. they're right then and there. They're, they have 72 hours to the point where they can give you that report. 72. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So that's three days. So you want to make sure when you're choosing your inspector, how fast do they get the report to you? You know, I'd say on average, it's 24 hours, but hmm. our company will give it to you right then on site. And then, you know, the termite inspection too, uh, you want to ask, uh, does it in, does it include it? Or, you know, do you have to have a separate guy? Because mm -hmm. you're actually required to have two separate licenses. Makes right? sense, makes yeah. sense. Chris and the team will do both and they'll yeah. throw it in free for you. Yeah, we, yeah, we <laughs> knocked that out, right? Yeah. And then, um, what else did we cover? There was one other thing. Um, we did that develop, delivery of the report mm. uh the tools oh yeah. yeah the bare minimum of the tools you know inspector doesn't have to carry very much you just know, what a, a tape measure screwdriver flashlight <laughs> and they're allowed to do handwritten reports ah uh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly mm. so you want to ask your inspector you know what does this report look like you know how what does the report look like the de delivery method do they do right. an email they're even allowed to mail it you know so it's something to <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we can't have that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so A Action they'll deliver the report on site for you uh, with digital pictures, everything in there, and get it to you in a clear, informative manner. You know, right. so some inspectors they will put like crazy amount of data on there, and we try to get it short and simple. You know, so we so, can read it. So you can read it, understand mm -hmm. what you're purchasing, and. Um, so you can move on to the negotiation phase. That's right. The closing yeah. table is we all want to see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Sweet. So that's uh, Chris with the action. This is Andrew with EXP Realty. How do they find you? Hey guys, you can find me on Instagram at Prime Home and Rentals and I have my link there so you can look for your free apartment search and also your rentals and homes all on one link. So hit me up guys. All right. Nice. And uh, catch us on the next one. And uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll see Andrew again. Absolutely. All right, see you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.